Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about solving word problems involving integers. Again, we will solve that those kind of word problems and their integers. So if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing to it. And also, I would like to recommend or I would like to recommend you in watching our videos about comparing and arranging integers as well as the different operations on integers like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have here a given problem or the first problem and we are given a direction. Answer the following problems because I will be giving you four different problems. And at the end of it, I will give you a single activity that you need to answer in a that you need to apply, wherein you, you can apply what you have learned from our discussion today. So in item number one, we have the problem, if it is 26 degrees outside and the temperature will drop 4 degrees Celsius in the next 8 hours, how cold will get it? So this one is under temperature problem, where in Sabirito, the starting temperature in a given problem is 20, 26 degrees. And here, we are given the next condition, it will drop 4 degrees Celsius in the next 8 hours. So we will start with 26 as a representation for your 26 degree Celsius. And then look at this scenario. In the next 8 hours, it will drop 4 degrees Celsius. So the word drop, it simply means subtraction. So we have 26 minus 4 to represent your 4 degrees Celsius. Again, let's elaborate the explanation, explanation behind this. So we have a base temperature which is 26 degrees outside in this given problem. So it was it is represented by 26 and will drop 4 degrees Celsius in the next 8 hours. So, yung 4 degrees Celsius natin, it is represented by minus 4. So, subtracting these integers, you have 26 minus 4. Obviously, this is 22. Since we got 22 as our answer, meaning the temperature or the answer in this problem is simply 22 degrees. This is the answer for item number 1. Now let's move on with item number two. For item number two, we are given an elevator problem. An elevator is on the 20th floor. It goes down 10 floors and then up for six floors. What floor is the elevator now? So basically guys, in this kind of problems, you need to understand well the problem and do not fear solving the problem because it will hinder you in understanding what is meant by the problem. So here we have an elevator is on the 20th floor. So it started with 20th floor. So we will do 20. We start with 20 because we have 20th floor, 20th. And in the next statement, it goes down, down 10 floors. So again, it goes down 10 floors. So the word down, it will give you the hint that you need to use subtraction. 10 floors, 10. So 20 minus 10. So you will have 20 minus 10, you can have 10. So from 20th floor, after dropping down 10 floors, yung elevator natin is currently at the 10th floor. And then, we have this statement again, and then up four, six floors, up, up. So if we have, if we're currently at the 10th floor, so we need to translate this into 10. So again, we started at 20th floor, and then it goes down 10 floors. So we're currently at 10th floor, and then up for six floors, meaning you need to add plus 
6 or plus 6. So it will give you the answer of 16. So the question here, what floor is the elevator now? So the elevator is currently at the 16th floor. Okay, so here's the answer for item number 2. Now let's move on with item number 3. If we have or if 4,550 kilograms of rice is packed in 65 sacks, how much rice will each sack contain? So again, if 4,550 kilograms of rice is packed in 65 sacks, how much rice will each sack contain? So, or how much kilogram or how many kilograms does each pack contains? So basically guys, in example number one and example number two in our discussion today, uh, those problems, uh, we use addition or subtraction of integers. But this time, we will be using division of integers. So you, basically, you have 4,550 as a total kilogram of rice. And then you have 60 sacks of rice. So you will be doing is 4,550 divided by 65. And you can convert this into like into this form. You have 4,550 divided by 65. So basically you need to divide this. Uh, 45 divided by 65 cannot be. So we will start with 455 divided by 65. That will give you 7. And 7 times 65, that is 455. You subtract the numbers. You have 0 and 0. 0. Bring down 0. So you have 0 times 65. A 0 divided by 65, that is 0. 0 times 65, that is 0. So you will have 0. So the correct answer for item number 3 is simply 70 kilograms. What is the meaning of this? We have, diba, you have the total of 4,550 kilograms of rice and then meron kang 65 packs or sacks na lalagyan ng rice. So the question here is that ilang kilo ng bigas or how many kilograms does each pack, each sack of rice contains? So meron, bawat isang sako ng bigas or pack ng bigas ay merong 70 kilograms na laman. So this is the answer for item number 3. Now, we are done with our discussion. But I am here to ask you to answer this problem in which you are given a submarine problem. A submarine starts out at 134 feet below sea level. It dives 230 feet before rising 305 feet. Represent the current depth of the submarine as an integer. Again, I would like to, to answer this. And you can comment down below sa ating comment section what is the correct answer in item number 4. So if you are new to my channel, don't, you for, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest, latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!